Austin Team Court, and I'm here with Miss Coco. Okay, we're going to be doing the Elite Quiz of 10 questions, so everyone let's talk. Maybe that's on extreme. Hello. Okay, number one. If you can remember, who taught you to read? Who taught me to read? Well, no, I don't remember, but I know when I was young I wasn't a really... I wasn't interested in reading when I, until about fourth grade. So I think I started writing before I liked to read because I didn't find the books I liked, so I would start writing them myself. But I don't remember how I learned how to read, actually. Yeah. Yeah. As a writer, do you agree with Einstein's claim that imagination is more important than knowledge? Who's, who's claim? Einstein. Oh. Um, that imagination is more important than knowledge? I don't know how to judge that. I think both are very important. But maybe with knowledge, your imagination opens up a little bit more. I mean, you can't imagine something if you're not aware of it in some way. So, you know, probably goes hand in hand. Yeah. If you could see any book adapted into a film right now, what would it be? Any book at all? Not my books. Any book at all? Um, well, I know they're coming out with the Hunger Games book. I'm looking, uh, movie. I'm looking forward to that. Um, this is hard. I can't think of anything. Um, no idea. Okay. Uh, what's your favorite storybook? Storybook, like little baby book. Sure, like whatever book you started reading when you were young. When I was young, I liked Are You My Mother. <laughs> that was my favorite book when I was a kid. The little the duck little, and the dog. The little, uh, Are you my mom? And... Um, if you handed me your iPod right now, what would be on your most frequently played list? Uh, Corinne Bailey, Corinne Bailey Ray, and um, probably the first thing, Alicia Keys, uh, Counting Crows. <laughs> Who was your hero when you were a kid and who is your hero now? Who's, who was your hero when you were a kid and who is your hero now? Oh, I don't know. You know, hard question. My hero. Probably my father. You know, my father passed away about seven years ago. But he was, I guess when I was growing up, definitely my hero. And now, hopefully he's still my dad. Daddy's little girl. Yeah. Okay. Um, what comes to you as inspiration in your writing? Um, I guess just seeing real people doing real things. Just inter seeing, like, <laughs> observing people and just wanting to know more about why they do that, why they said that, why, they, why they're acting that way. Just real people, like, in real situations in the neighborhood. Okay. Uh, what do you plan to accomplish in your writing? Um, I want to write books that appeal to kids that grew up like I did, who don't really see themselves represented that much in books. So I want to. I, I'm just really happy when kids write me and tell me that my book is the first book they've ever read. That to me is like, okay, I've done my job. Um, here's an FAQ. Um, any advice to any aspiring writers out there? Uh, take it seriously. You can do it. And. Um, do it. Don't don't just talk about wanting to do it. Sit down and, and do it. And don't don't criticize yourself while you're writing. Write write a full draft of, of your novel from beginning to end. And don't expect it to be very good at first. Just just write it and then do it again and again. But don't critique and write at the same time. Just write freely. Let yourself have fun. Last one. Okay. What was the first book that really moved you and why? Uh, the first book that I, I really connected to was Are You Are You There God It's Me Margaret by Aww. Judy Bloom. Yeah. That really made me want to write become a writer. Yeah. You know, really it inspired me and it just connected to me in some way. Okay. Well thank you so much. Thank you. It's been great interviewing <laughs> you and hopefully you'll be here next year. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.